everybody, Mr. Harmon here. Um, just trying to show you in physics where to find that review sheet. I know it's a bit confusing, confusing them at home here. Um, but anyhow, check this out. Go here, uh, topics, unit two, motion with acceleration. And it is this one here, review problems. I took some of the descriptions out here. I gotta go back and get some of these other descriptions out. Um, you know, just uh, kind of a kind of a pain to kind of get in the way. So it's right here, review problems, I believe. Um, oh, it's a dot doc. I'll change that right now. I'll put it on there as a PDF. Docs are no good for this type of thing. Um, but yeah, this is it here. Let me just that PDF for you right now. I'll fix that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We're gonna save this, but all right. So we just have a couple basic problems here. Um, athlete starts from rest and runs 40 meters, reaches top speed of nine meters per second. So again, identify the variables. The initial rest. Uh, displacement, 40 meters. The final, nine meters per second. Now, if you want to make the organization, organizational table, go for it. If you want to list them out, go for it. T time is what you're looking for. Runner's acceleration, A, what you're looking for there. Um, so for this one, you're really going to have to uh, probably start with, oh, I don't know. Um, Average velocity equals displacement times time, something like that. And then you can pick what you want for acceleration. This one here, when an object is dropped, accelerates at a rate of 9.8 meters per second per second. That's true. It does. Acceleration due to gravity, we sometimes call that. Um, so when something's dropped, its initial velocity is zero. So that's important to note for this one. So you're going to use probably Al Grande, delta x equals one half at squared to figure out this one. Uh, and then you got to sketch graphs to represent the motion. So it's just something accelerating at a constant rate. And down is kind of irrelevant, right? You can say down is the positive direction. That's fine. Um, this one here. Given the following velocity versus time, we have to determine how far the object moved during this time interval as maximum acceleration. So acceleration is slope of velocity versus time. So find the maximum slope of the velocity versus time graph. And displacement, well, you could do this a number of ways. You could find the area under the curve. You could use the axis, the numbers here on uh, times and velocities to figure out um the stuff to put in equations that's up to you whatever you think is easiest there all right so that's where you find it that's what it looks like um you know crank this out uh i'll make it a pdf file so you can see it on anything because that's usually the easier easiest way to go word files tend to not be the best so i'll get that fixed right now for you and um you'll be good to go all right all right i'll talk to you later